Hey everybody, it is Katie, and I just wanted to pop on here and share a few things with you guys today. Um, I just got home from Minnesota and the Panthers Conference, and I had a lot of fun there. And so I just kind of wanted to do a couple of things this week um, on my YouTube channel. First of all, I was just going to recap everything that happened at Panthers Conference, as well as while we were in Minnesota. And then later on in the week, I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that I'm sharing today in a little more detail. And I have a couple of uh, projects that I didn't do while I was at Painters Conference that I wanted to do via video and share with you guys. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about what Painters Conference is because it's still fairly new. Um, and I didn't realize this until I got there, but the Minnesota one, this was the first year that they've ever done it in Minnesota. It originally started in Salt Lake City, and so they go to Salt Lake, um, Dallas, Fort Worth, Minneapolis, San Diego, Phoenix, and Atlanta, Georgia. So if you are in or near any of those cities, you can check out the link. I'm gonna put a link in the description for the Pinners Conference website, and you can check it out and go there. So they rent like a large hall and they have um, like a convention center. It was the convention center in Minneapolis and it's full of vendors. The middle part is just full of all kinds of vendors. There is a little bit of everything. Um, there are of course crafts and stamps and clothes and food and everything in between as well. Anybody can sign up to have a vendor booth there. So there are a lot of different things there. And some of them do go to every single Pinners conference. Some of them are just local to the area. It really just depends. There are classes that you can take and there's a couple of different things you can do when it comes to price wise. Um, you can uh, purchase um, tickets to just go in and shop around at Painters Conference, um, like shop the vendors. And that's pretty cool too because most of the DIY or craft vendors have make and takes. And I'm going to show you a couple that I did. I only did a couple because some of them I thought I can do that at home. So I didn't want to try it. But anyway, I did, I did a few make and takes. So you could do that and then you still go home with some really cool um, projects. You can sign up to take classes. They had eight classrooms and they had six classes per day in each classroom. So that's quite a few classes that you can choose from. You can pick as many as you want. Um, they have an option of just doing two. You can do all of Friday or all of Saturday or you could do both. And and then they have a VIP package too, which is way more. But if you just wanted to do the classes, um, I think it was $45 and that got you into the convention center both days and you got to do all 12 classes. Like you could pick whatever you wanted and you could go to six on Friday and six on Saturday. For $45, that's a pretty good deal. Now, some classes were just lecture classes and so you could just go and listen and it didn't cost you anything extra. If you did any DIY classes, they had a class kit fee and it just depended on what the class was. Um, I think the most expensive that I saw was $35 and you know, it depends on what, you're, what the project is and what you're doing. Um, all of the leather classes are free. Tandy Leather is a huge sponsor of Pinners Conference so they all of their classes were free. So you didn't have to pay for your kit. You just, you actually got two. They were really awesome. They were really cool. So what I did at Pinner's Conference was I decided to sign up to work there. So my job was to help check people into the classes. For each class, um, I helped clean up and prepare for the next class. So that's what I did all day Friday and Saturday. And then while the classes were going on, if I didn't want to be in there watching. I got to go and shop and do some make and takes and I had plenty of time which was really fun. I wasn't sure that I would but I'm glad that I did. So I wanted to show you guys today some of the things that I got and this is only 
a small amount. I wandered around both days just kind of looking and looking and then Saturday before we left I went back and picked up the things that I really wanted to get. So I wanted to share them with you guys today. And then at the very end of the video, I'm just gonna share some photos and fun stuff that I took while we were wandering around Minneapolis because we had a lot of fun just being touristy in the big city, us little Montana girls that don't get out and about very often. Well, I don't, my friend does, but I don't. So it was just kind of fun to go and check things out and we made a lot of good memories and it was um, a nice way to pass the 12 hour drive to Minneapolis to have somebody go with you. It was a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna share with you guys the things that I got. And then like I said, later on in the week, um, I have three of them that I'm gonna do. So there's gonna be three more videos coming this week just about Painters Conference. So today was just kind of an over view of what it is and whether or not you should go and if you're asking yourself the answer is yes the answer is a huge yes go there sign up to do all of the classes that you can and then go do it go enjoy it um i did mention there's like a vip thing and that got you into a special party on thursday night you got a whole bunch of swag i have no idea what it was because i wasn't there but I heard that it was really awesome. And then you got first entrance into all of the classes that you pre-signed up for. So um, one cool thing is maybe you get there and you say, oh, I didn't know they had that, and you wanna change it, you can do that. So that's just something to think about if you guys wanna go. I wanna go again for sure back to Minneapolis next summer, but um, my friend Monica that went with me, she says we should go to San or Salt Lake City in November too. So. We'll see, we might be there. So if you guys wanna go, do it. It's awesome, it's fun. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got. Okie dokie, so like I told you guys, um, Tandy Leather was a big sponsor of Pinner's Conference and everybody that went got these cool bags so that you could put all of your stuff in. Um, a lot of vendors gave away free things, um, you know, just, it depended on where you went um, and what you got. So I only went to a couple of make and take classes just because there was a lot of um, sign making classes, which that's what I do. So I didn't really want to um, spend a lot of extra time and money doing stuff that I could do at home. But that doesn't mean that they weren't awesome. They were still really awesome and so, um, so this was one of the make and takes that I chose to do. There was a cute little um, vendor called Appleberry's Attic. They're from Wisconsin and they had these cute little floral wreath hoops. And they were really cute and I thought I could add a little bit of, you know, ribbon and stuff here, change them out at the springtime. Those were just really cute. So that was one of the make and takes that I chose to do. I tried to choose things that I didn't always get to do when it comes to stuff. However, this was one that I really wanted to do. I had seen it posted previous to the weekend. This is from the Craft My Party ladies that are there in Minnesota. And I'm 100% sure that that is how I found out about Pinner's Conference was just from their Facebook and Instagram page from previous post. So I wanted to go visit their booth and check it out. And so this was their one of their make and takes for the day. So then the next thing was the classes. So like I said, the um, leather, uh, Tandy Leather, that was one of them that was a huge sponsor. And so all of their classes were free and you got your little kit. Now I went there to work, of course. And as I'm working there, I thought, I wonder if I could get a kit. And the girl that I was working with who works for a Pinner's Conference said, yes, you sit down and you do it. You do this and have fun. And so I did that for a couple of classes. This was one that I really wanted to do. This is the leather coffee cup sleeve. They taught four classes throughout the weekend. 
Um, one of them was a leather purse. There was a coffee cup sleeve. There was um, a little treasure box. And then there was an eyeglass case, that's what it was. So you got everything that you needed. They let us use their tools. I had no idea what I was doing, but it actually turned out pretty stinking cute, I think. So I was just kind of messing around and trying out the stamps because I didn't know. So you didn't get to keep the stamps, but you got to keep everything else from the kit. And so like I said, that was a free class. That was one that I did. And then they gave me another kit and I brought it home from McKinley. The other class that I wanted to take because when we were recently at Hobby Lobby, I looked at this stuff and I wasn't really sure about it. So when I saw that they were having a class, I made sure that I also took this class. So this was a class where you had to pay for your kit. And this was everything that came in the kit. And it was $35. So you got your hammer, you got your sprinkle head. Let's see, I don't know if you guys can see that really well. It makes like a sprinkle texture. You got the ball peen head, and this one is called the chasing head. And it'll screw off, unscrew. And then you got the little stamping block, the bracelet bending bar, and you got 12 of these bracelets. Now the cool thing about it is, is these are food safe, they're food grade safe, and they showed them where they stamped little things on there and used them as like martini stirs. You could stamp um, thyme, um, mint, and stick them in your little garden spot. You could do all kinds of things with them. So what they showed us was how to use the different um, textured heads to create a different textured background. So this one was with the ball peen hammer. Um, this one, you can't see it very well, but it does have a really light texture. I would say like a marvelish texture. And that was using the chasing head. And then this one, this one is the sprinkled head. So you can see it has a whole lot more texture to it. This was a super noisy class. <laughs> and if you guys followed me on social media, you probably saw a little video of us doing this class and making a whole lot of noise, hammering all those things out. So the hammer, the way that it works is it twists and then you can pull out your little pieces and there's a little notch there. And when you slide that in and screw it back in, then it's tight. Um, I didn't research and see how much each of these things is individually, but I thought that was a pretty good deal to actually then also get the class and get some fun ideas. So then, those were the only two classes that I actually did any projects for. Um, of course, I sat in all the rest of them, and um, I'll show you some videos at the end, or some photos at the end of this video that have some of the other classes that were available that I watched, but you guys, there was so many of them. Um, so my friend Monica went with me and she just took classes. And this is one of the classes that she took and it was the flower crown. And so you got all of these supplies in your kit and then the lady demonstrated how to make the flower crown. And I guess it's just one sheet there. So then, of course, when she was done, she had all of this extra stuff, and so I went over and purchased a kit. So this is everything that you got in a kit. Um, I believe it was $25 for the kit. Alrighty, then there was another class that I, neither one of us took, and I guess maybe because I didn't know about this one, this one was awesome. And so after I saw some people come into the other classroom with these particular projects finished, I went and sought this place out. This is called 
Details and Joy, and these are pocket frames. And so this is another video that I'm gonna do for you guys. So I'm just showing you the kit, but this was the class kit. And then I went and I purchased another section. So because this is magnetic, these are going to be able to be interchanged. And they had two sizes available there. And you guys, they are so stinking cute. They're awesome. I'm really excited about that. So that was another class that was offered and I was able to go and purchase the kit. So the only other thing that I got at Paris Conference was just a few more supplies for my Impress Art jewelry stuff, just because I thought it was so cool and I'd been looking at it before and they gave me a 20% off coupon. So I thought, what the heck, I'm gonna buy it while I'm here. So I wanted to pick up some rings. So I got two sizes of rings and then I got the ring bending pliers. So with the bracelet, you're gonna put them in here to bend them, and then you can bend them a little bit more along the top if you want to. But with the rings, they're a little bit too small, so you need the ring bending pliers. And then I chose the newsprint lowercase, and this is what it's gonna look like. I thought that was really cute. Um, then if I, and I'll show all you guys this later. I didn't get any of the stamp enamel, I guess because I didn't realize it at first that that's what I needed, but I'll show it to you guys. <laughs> and then I got some just aluminum washers that I thought we could stamp and McKinley wanted me to pick up these dog tags so we could stamp names on those. So there again, will be another little video for you guys coming this week. I'm gonna show you guys more about this. I'm gonna show you guys more about this and then we're gonna to put together that floral wreath headband. So I also got to go to Ikea for the first time ever in real life Ikea store and I got a few things there for more DIY projects in the future. For um, before you guys go, if you're still watching, I'm just gonna share with you guys some photos um, of our trip, of our adventures. We had a lot of fun, we, and we were adventurous. We tried out a lot of different things, so it was really a good weekend, a nice time. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you back here in a couple of days with another fun DIY video.